Well, since I was talking about computers today, um, I'm going to show you guys a quick tip on how to clean out your keyboard. Um, some people would grab a can of air, but I wouldn't do that. I can, you know, just simply remove the keys and clean underneath there, you know, get all the kind of stuff that you can't um, get out with can of air, like um, lint or hair or things like that that would wrap around the parts in there themselves and you know the can of air can always blow that out so yeah well um, what you're gonna want to do is is very simple you're just gonna want to get your fingers underneath there and pull it until it pops off like that see that I just removed my shift and okay right here are the little thing these are the things that grab the key itself they grab they grab it and they click it down into place so you don't want to break these you can replace them if you do break it but I'm sure you won't break it because I don't know I, I never broke mines I yeah I just pull on it and just get it up there so yeah and all you have to do is just get your finger underneath there see like that and just pull just like that see I just removed the um this key with the question mark so you clean underneath there you you see there's a little bit of hair I don't know if you can see that probably came from my face or something so yeah you got the hair underneath there I just removed the um question mark key remove this one So yeah, I just removed it. See if there's anything underneath there. Let's remove the next one. Whoa, almost lost that one. <laughs> I do not suggest you to remove all the keys at once um, because you can forget which key goes where or you can replace them. I mean, misplace them. Um, the key, you know, one key or something or you can put a key in the wrong order and, you know, you can do it by mistake. I have done it sometimes. But, you know, not a lot. I'm just cleaning it out right here. But, yeah. And the way you put it back in is you... You put it... You just put it there. And you click it in. It's going to click like this. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder and do this. But... There you go. Question mark. The next one. Is this one. going to put it on there. Place it on top. And line it up. And click it down. There you go. Here's another one. The other one. I'm trying to line it up. There we go. Okay, and this one it can be kind of tricky. Well, not really tricky. It's just you have to do something else besides just clicking it down. The space bar, usually the space bar and this have these little metal pieces. I don't know if you can see that too well, but there's a little metal piece. Sticks up. You can f It flips up and down. And what you have to do is, you see those little holes right here? Th that hole right there, I'm pointing with the thing you see right here. That little loop, there's two of them. You're going to want to... Pull that those um, levers down, whatever those little metal parts, and loop them in there. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder. Hold on, let me look through the um. Sorry if you can't see. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but they're inside the little hole. And now you're you're going to see it yourself when you take your shift out or your um space bar. And now you put them in there and you push it down like this. See, those are for the um, longer keys because there are two of them put together. And hold on, let me make sure it's all down. Okay, and there we go. Um, let me take out my shift for you guys so you can see. I don't want to make this video too long. See the shift the button. It has two parts there, one right there and one right there, and you got to get these little metal parts, and you put them in there,
I don't know if you can see it, but I'm trying to... Okay, there we go. You put them in there. And you close it, and you push it down. Okay, there we go. You're going to want to, like, push up a little sometimes to click it in there. There you go, though. That's how you clean your keyboard. You take out a row one by one and clean underneath it. That's how I do it. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you guys later. I'm out.